Oh, that's hot! I got a story to tell you guys tonight too, so, oh yeah, oh it's a red! So, uh, my friend Kyle from uh, EVM, he's done some shady corner stuff as well. So, his wedding's next week and I'm his best man. So he gets old shades to organize the Bucks party. Now, if you're a veteran of Not Safe For Work Gamer and you go back to the to the early days when I had Julie, who was a girl who did some skits with me. She's a professional stripper. <clears throat> so I decide we're gonna have the Bucks night at his house. We go. Um, I ring Julie and I say, "Hey, are you still stripping?" She goes, "No." And I was like, "Do you know anybody in the industry?" And she goes, "Yeah, I do know someone actually." Um, but she didn't say if it was a guy or a girl. Now, take note, it was a girl though. Thank God. So. She's like, yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'll, I'll get her real cheap for you. Like, she owes me anyway. And I'm like, sweet. So she ends up, uh, I end up depositing the money, blah, blah, blah. So we head to his house last night. I bought like $400 worth of like, like beer and food and shit like that. And all of us, oh, I almost dropped the controller. All of us getting wasted, you know. And uh, he doesn't know. He has this feeling. And so the stripper rocks up, and she's pretty cute, she's pretty she's pretty slim, she's got the slender, you know. And um, she's there with the driver, and so the, um, the lady comes in, and she kisses me on the cheek, and she's like, Hey, my name's Hannah, like, uh, are you the groom? And I was like, I'm not, but he's in here, I'll lead you to the back room so you can get changed. So she goes to the back room, and then she says to me, this is just so funny, it's so funny. She says to me, Hey, so what am I not allowed to do? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I don't know. What don't you want to, what, what do you do? Like, what's your thing? And she goes, well, I was going to do a normal strip, like make it really nice, but I brought candles with me. And I was like, oh. And she's like, yeah. And I brought like wax and I brought, uh, well, I could whip him with a belt. And I was like, you know what? Just go nuts on him. And she's like, really? I was like, just, just fuck him up. Which was the worst thing I possibly could have said, okay? Now, there was a lot of stories happened from that night, but this is like... This is the pinnacle, okay? So, <laughs> he gets out there, he's, and I've dressed him up in this, like, um, 70s outfit, this really ridiculous outfit, which is great, because I was great that it was, like, it's going to get destroyed. She comes out and she's like grinding on him and shit and we're like, we're all like, oh man, this is like, this is, you know, getting, you know, it's getting pretty, you know. And, you know, she gets her tits out and stuff and she gets naked and she starts like thrusting into him and shit. And I was like, oh, that's pretty standard, pretty standard. And then she grabs his head and throws it over the chair, grabs a belt and she fucking winds up and she just goes, how many? And someone just yells, five. And she's like, okay. Whoosh. And I'm not, and she pulled his underwear and his pants down. So his ass, after one, was like bright red. It was, it was as red as my logo. Whips him five times, okay. And he's like in fucking pain. He's screaming. And I'm like, and everyone's like, Ross, what the, what the fuck, Ross, what the fuck? And I'm like, I don't know, like, I don't know what she's doing, but part of me's like, I kind of want to see where this goes, right? So then, she lights these candles, right, and she's making that cook up, she's still whipping him and shit, and I'm like, holy fuck, she's wrecking him, her <laughs> girlfriend's gonna kill me, and so then she lays him on the floor, rips his shirt off, right, and then gets the wax strips, put, and he's hairy as fuck puts them over his nipples, and then pulls his underwear down and puts them on his pubes. And then just fucking <laughs> rips it off. And I was like, first of all, I'd seen his dick. And I was like, Santa Ball, it was like, it was fucking, like, I felt the pain. His fucking pubes get ripped off, and there's just fucking, there's hair everywhere. Then he gets put back on the chair again. He gets another lashing. Whoosh, how many? Whoosh, 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 right? We're like, what the fuck? And everyone's like, Ross, what the fuck's going on? I was like, I don't know, but it's kind of hot because she's, you know, she's doing her thing right. And she's like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm really digging it. I'm really digging it right. 
<laughs> so then, this is the best part, okay? So then she gets the candle, right? And I'm like, oh man, she's gonna like drip a bit of candle, do a bit of Fifty Shades of Grey, right? So she grabs the candle and starts like pouring on his tits, and it's fucking boiling. And he's like, ha 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 ha, and I'm like, oh my god. She then opens his pants and just tips hot wax all over his dick, and I'm like, and he's like, oh, like, and I'm like. <laughs> and he's like, he's just like, he's basically his dick's gone. And then she turns him around, whips him again, and then pours hot wax in his ass. So his ass, like, the wax seals over his crack. He's got no, he's just like one bum cheek. She then lays him on the floor. And I'm like, what else is she going to do, right? And you think like, you're like, Shays, what else could happen, right? So he's covered in wax. He's covered in welts. She then gets this like foam and sprays it all over her body, right? And then she sets it on fire, picks it up, and then throws it at him. And so he says on fire. And then and then she sprays him and then lights it up and then starts rubbing herself. And there's flames going everywhere, there's pubes. And I'm just like, I'm like having a heart attack. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm having a heart attack. By the end of it, right? Like, the only thing that wasn't showing was Kyle's penis. Like, he just barely covered it. And she totaled it. And she got up and she was like, it was great to be here. And I'm like, what the fuck? And she, like, she comes up to me and she gives me a kiss on the cheek. She's like, thank you. And I was like, you came, came highly recommended. I walk back in and Kyle's just on the floor. He's, his ass is now sealed over with wax. His balls and dick are like one. He's got wax all over. He's got welts on his ass. He's probably got half a boner from the stripper. And I was like, you okay? And he's like, that's pretty hot. And I was like, you okay? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So that's that. That's that story. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, the rest of the party was pretty tame. Uh... There wasn't anything to, like, I mean, his brothers brought, uh, like, a blow-up doll in. And we were going to drink shots out the vagina. It might as well have been Shades' as Bucks Night, honestly. It felt like that. Um, but the stripper was the highlight, and everyone was freaking out. Because they were like, Ross, how much did you... Because we all put money in. And they're like, how much was this? And I was like, it was actually standard price. She just did this as a favor because she's a friend of a friend of mine. It was intense. It was so insane. 